FNN。Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at one eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight, or internationally at seven two seven eight seven three seven six one eight. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. We're going to talk about the soybeans here, folks. These are the November soybeans. These are the ones that are just being planted right now, as you can see in those little red boxes down there at 11.62. That is where your double ABCD 1.618 expansions occur. That's where you want to play the game. Right now, we're about 15 cents higher than that. Uh, we rallied uh, about 35 cents last night, but we gave quite a bit of it back. Uh, I added to the position, we were long corn, and then I added to position in the beans, uh, in the November beans, but the problem was the uh, they rallied 12 cents in our favor, and then it looked like it was going to be, oh, just green lights all day long, and I said, put your stop at break even, boys and girls, because these markets can be very treacherous, and sure enough, in about five minutes after I, well, 15 minutes after I sent that out, the market opened, of course, it opened slightly higher and then immediately dro uh, dropped down quite a bit, uh, taking out uh, the stop and continued to go lower, which basically tells us that we're not quite there yet. And that's why uh, today uh, we had been long corn for quite some time and we decided that the best thing to do because you had made a considerable amount of money in corn is to get out around that four, uh, six, <laughs> let's try it again, 516 level. Uh, in the December corn, and that's why you want to be able to uh, try to do that. So give me one second, and I'll get this corn chart up so you can see, you know, what we're looking at here, and that'll give you a rough idea of what we're watching here. Folks, uh, those of you that belong to the uh, Fibonacci 24-7 um, videos uh, that I send out each day, please, please pay very, very close attention to the hogs that we're looking at today they were down they're still down considerable amount they're down about two about a buck and a half to two dollars uh, per pound today uh, and that man they're closing they're not closing really good either which means the bottom is not in and we think the bottom is going to be in tomorrow so we have to redo all of those numbers because we've got a little bit of an expansion down here we want to get as close to the bottoming area as we can so tomorrow is a really, really key day uh, in the hog market. So uh, when these hogs move, folks, they move very, very quickly and can be uh, quite lucrative. But on the same token, is uh, that can be filthy lucre too because it could go right through your stop and you could be out of the trade in a heartbeat. But it's going to be very low risk, uh, high probability, I would say, in the neighborhood of about 70% probability of winning because it's going to be a beautiful Gartley three drive to a bottom pattern. It is in fact going to be a 1.618 expansion uh, and that is, you can't ask for anything better than that. You know, the risk on this will be very, very small, uh, uh, $400 or less and the profit potential will be uh, seven times that, up to 2800 And that's just a 382 retracement of the move down in the hog. So um, it's going to be very, very interesting to see what happens here uh, tomorrow uh, in the hogs because it's going to be – it's set up just absolutely perfectly. A gap down today, closing near the lows of the day, which means the selling is not finished. And then tomorrow, one more bad piece of news, and that should get us to our uh, price objective, and that's when you become a hog farmer, and that's when you want to start uh, you know, playing the game the way it should be played. So that's the most important thing uh, to remember here. Uh, those of you that uh, that are in the, uh, in the uh, stock market, I want to go over these things to, to, because it's very important. Look what happened to the Russell today, folks. Uh, this is a daily chart in the Russell going back about nine months. And you'll see here that you had, uh, let's try it again, let me five months. Look at, you had the 382, you hit it one, two, three, four, times and the fourth time was today hit it exactly there at 1822 we backed off quite a bit from that level but you also had 
an A, B, C, D formation in there. And also, now, just for home, just to, like uh, Twentyman says, defy human nature, do the work yourself. Take a chart of the Dow Jones Industrial Average, okay? Measure from the high down to the low and see what the rally was today. And I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. And Johnny's got his little placard up, waving it, saying 382. Yes, Johnny, you're in fact correct. It was spot on at 33,380. And uh, it's dropped about 200 points uh, off of that level and uh, has not, well, it has. It may, might rally towards the end of the day because we've got a couple more hours left and anything could happen. But that's what's happened uh, so far today. So those are the main thing. Our guest at the break is going to be Mike Moore. Uh, I had some screw ups here on the early part of it. I didn't post those charts as the way they should have been posted. So he's going to repost his technical charts uh, to talk to us about the gasoline, heating oil, and crude oil, and also the spreads and how they operate. A spread, folks, is when you, you go long one month and short the other. And because that's like an arbitration, they give you a better margin. In other words, instead of paying $6,000 to put that spread on, you're, you only have to pay maybe just 1200 because that's supposed to protect you. But believe me, when spreads move, and they can move dramatically, that's when you get uh, that's when you get these tremendous moves. That was a move that got me back in the game back in 1975. I was long July soybean oil and long December soybean oil, and I was long for weeks and weeks and weeks, probably five or six weeks. And then one Friday afternoon, the spread only cost $150 to put on, folks. So I was controlling $3,000 worth of of uh, soybean oil for $150. That's the total amount. And we were at full carry because interest rates were so high. And what happened on that Friday, the July option that I was long jumped 30 points, which was $160. And the December, which I was short, dropped 30 points, which was $160. So my equity increased by $320 from where I was at 150. So I had doubled my money in one day, just in that spread, and it was just on the close. And I remember this very vividly because on the Reuters machine, remember we didn't have these fancy things, the Reuters machine say, whoa, what a silly aberration it was in the July D soil uh, in the pits today at the Chicago Board of Trade. That'll be corrected immediately on Monday morning, and uh, those profits will be going back to where they were at 150. Well, come uh, the opening on uh, Monday morning, I was all excited to watch them take my $350 away from him, and guess what happened? They didn't take the $350 away from me. It stayed that way all day long until the last hour, and you'll never guess what happened. Up 30 in the July, down 30 in the December. Folks, it did that for 18 trading days in a row. It didn't make any difference whether the market was going up or down. That July-December spread was moving to the upside. In other words, if July went down 40 points, December went down 80 points. So the spread was working every single day for 18 days. And then on the 19th day, that was starting into June. That's when we took profits and we got pretty lucky. But anyway, some other things to cover about the market. So stay with us, 877-927-6648. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more, and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year T-bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. 
When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60 minute webinar archive he just hosted Forex Strategies and Fundamentals What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30 day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. C call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I'm going to give you a little treat uh, against the advice of Mr. Twentyman and to defy human nature, do the work yourself. I posted the chart of the Dow Jones over the last five days. And as you can see, the high that we made today, right over here on the right where you see that little box, that was 0 0.382 at, at 33,380 to the exact tick. And now you can see we've dropped. 250 handles and that means we probably got an ABCD to the downside now think of what's just happening folks uh, we've had one market which is the Dow Jones excuse me the Nasdaq do something that you know had this tremendous move to the upside let's just look at it again just to show you the the importance of what's happened because we've given it all back uh, all the gains from yesterday have been given back but you see, we went up to this level. We went a little bit higher the next day by just a little bit. And that's right when we were on the air yesterday, right near the high. I said, this market doesn't look like it wants to, to go down. And so it's probably going to make another new high. And so all I did was I posted this into the room yesterday as it was occurring. And I know some people look at these patterns and some people don't. That's okay. I'm happy with that. But you'll see as you look at this, You'll see the ABCD pattern forming right up here at the top. And then they, then you can see the butterfly pattern right here making another ABCD. So you have a double ABCD. You have ABCD right here. You have another ABCD right here. The expansion number is here. And then you can see um, I kept this open for a while and then it became late in the evening. So I just... Uh, wait, I'd wait and see what happened uh, next uh, in the next morning, and you can see the market just kept dropping and dropping and dropping, and we had not made an A B C D correction in the Nasdaq as of yet. We came within ten points, but we didn't actually get there. Now ten points 
might not seem by, seem much, but it is when you're trading these futures because, look, we missed it right here. Now, tonight, what you want to watch is to watch to see if the market can make this A, B, C, D because that'll get you right there, an A, B, C, D pattern right there, okay? And that's where you want to be looking to see whether that's going to be major resistance because if it is, it tells you that that ball game that they've been playing over there with these different uh, high price stocks and their earnings and these parabolic moves that we're seeing in NVIDIA and stuff like that, that game might be over. And we've seen that happen many times. Here's a picture of NVIDIA as of yesterday when we had a high of 319. I don't know what it is today because I don't follow the stock all I know is that it was down a little bit after earnings yesterday, but you can see it completed three or four major ABCD patterns in here. Now, remember, at this level at 319 on Bloomberg and CNBC yesterday, you'll never guess the price that they were looking at for NVIDIA. $495 a share. Hmm. And certainly enough, it might have made that. I don't know, but right now it's backing off a little bit. And we're going to find out if it's going to make 495 in the future. But uh, anything below, if it gets below 295, that would be a sign that they trapped a whole lot of people in there, and that would give you a pretty good idea that mm, maybe something's uh, not right. Now I'm going to bring something up that's very important for those of you that like money, and that is the euro, because the euro and the U.S. dollar are in tandem to make a 61% retracement. We'll start out the show here on the foreign exchange with the euro. You'll see just a tiny bit lower here, about another 40 pips, folks. We're going to be knocking on the door of the 61% retracement. Now, that in itself is not very, very important. Six Well, 618s are important, and you can see we've been down here for four days doing very much. But if we take the other side of this, because the dollar index is the reciprocal of that, so the dollar index will be rallying. And as you look at the dollar index, you'll see that it is within a heartbeat, 30, 40 pips away from the exact 61% retracement of the last two months. There's your high up here. See the big ABCD pattern here in the U.S. dollar? You remember the price gold was at that time, right? 2080? And it's not 2080 anymore. It's 1970 or something like that. So if this is going to be the high and this is going to be – uh, the place where it turns, this could be the thing that makes silver and gold because when that dollar weakens, silver and gold get strong, and then look out. Then we can see it moving to the upside. The key level, of course, in that silver, I'm going to bring it to your attention because uh, it's been been pretty good at picking out you know, where you're supposed to be, and I want to get it so that you'll, you'll be able to see it here at uh, 2294. That's the number the 382 of the whole move down and it's taken uh, several weeks to get there which is a very positive thing so that number right there 2292 just a little above uh, 23 dollars could be the last uh, train from uh, gun hill uh, on the silver market folks and i'm only about 45 miles from tombstone which was the silver capital of the west here in 1865 when Tucson was founded at the same time that Los Angeles was founded. And you'll never guess which city was larger, folks. Tucson, Arizona was much larger than uh, Los Angeles. And Tombstone, this little tiny mining town, just 45 minutes from us where the OK Corral and Wyatt Earp used to hang out, that was twice the size of Los Angeles, folks. They had 40,000 people there. They had the old joke is they had 20,000 miners and 20,000 call girls. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what it says on the sign when you go into town. But uh, it's a beautiful little town, and especially if you're there in October when the weather is great. That was the time of the OK Corral, the gunfight at the OK Corral that you see uh, in the many, many different movies of over the years. But they recreate that every year. So it's a great time to visit uh, Arizona is in the fall when the uh, monsoons are gone and the weather is cool. And of course, Tombstone is in the mountains. It's uh, it's up about 6,000 feet where all the silver mines and the silver mines ended in 1872, and it became uh, basically a ghost town. 
Uh, and then, of course, the movie industry came in and revived it a little bit. But uh, that's uh, neither here nor there. We're going to have Mike Moore coming on as our guest here uh, at the next part of this to go over the crude oil, heating oil, gasoline, and natural gas, and also the S&P 500 and the gold market. He does a good job on all of these, and we'll have questions for him. So if you have any questions, it's 877-927-6648. I will not be here tomorrow. I have something that I have to do, but I will be here Thursday. And our guest will be Robert Miner of Dynamic Traders. Rob used to be a Tucsonian. He lived on the uh, east uh, side of town. Oh, excuse me. He lived on the west side of town. I lived on the east side of town, but now he lives over in uh, South Carolina, North Carolina. I'm going to find out because I know he uh, just remarried and he's living over there somewhere back east. So. He likes it, and he will be our guest on uh, Thursday. And he does a lot of work with Elliott Wave, and he's used to be a GAN guy. So if you've got any questions about WG GAN, Bob Miner's the man. 877-927-6648. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and we have, <clears throat> excuse me, we have Mike Moore. Of more analytics, a specialist in the crude oil, heating oil, natural gas, uh, 
gasoline futures, S&P, treasury bonds, gold, and, of course, pork bellies. Oops, they've been discontinued. How long ago was that? 20 years ago, bellies stopped? I, God, I used to love to trade bellies. They were fabulous. Mike, what do you <laughs> got for you? you? You probably never traded bellies before, have you? Uh, I have, but it hasn't been in a while. Oh, yeah, well, they discontinued them 20 years ago. But anyway, tell us what you're looking at today. You've told us uh, last time you were on that they, there was a positive bias in the markets, especially for uh, gasoline and for crude oil, and the negativity towards the heating oil. And that's certainly all three of them have been spot on. So take right. out your crystal ball and tell us what you're looking at, Mike. Well, let me just go back over those for a second because – the crude oil is bullish. The unleaded gas is bullish. But the heating oil is bearish because we broke below this formation. So one of two things is going to happen here. Either the heating oil is going to acquiesce and break back above this formation, and then the whole complex should rally hard. Or... The gold and the RBOB are going to capitulate and roll over to the downside, and then this heating oil is going to take off to the downside. So we're just going to have to wait another day or so to see how it plays out. We broke below this, pulled back up to it, pulled back up to it, tried, tried to get above it again today. Still didn't get that decent penetration and kind of rolled over here. So this will show its hand within the next day or so. But meanwhile, that's that's one of the reasons why this RBOB to heat spread has been uh, – such a fantastic play over the, over the past number of days here. Did you, you have any questions on that, or you want me to jump to no, the no, S&Ps or something? Or? Uh, no, let's go through, uh, because of the fact that we didn't get your charts up, if you could go okay. through the charts again and do the crude oil, heating oil, and the gasoline and show the relationship that was there, then we'll do natural gas, then we'll do the S&P and gold. You got it. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm just going to kind of, redo from the early this is the um the crude oil here the break from the break above 65.31 to 30 warned a decent straight so we've been bullish since then we've seen about eight dollars and 58 cents of that um and then we were just uh we've been consolidating here lately then we broke above this formation which also made us bullish we had a slight um bullish structure here, then we corrected against it, and now we rallied back up. So if we take out this formation, it's going to project this higher. If we take out the lower formation, that's going to project this lower. The upper formation is not as well formed as the lower formation. If we take that lower formation out, that's going to come in at um, uh, 69.33 as of 3.30. And that increases 1.3 ticks per hour. Decent break below there is probably going to project this downward at least two and a half dollars, maybe five dollars plus. And the unleaded gasoline, otherwise called RBOB, in here, I said the trade above 237.29 warned of significant strength for days slash weeks. Um, so you go back and look on some of the archives of uh, Larry's show from the past couple of weeks, and you'll see that we called this down there. We've seen 31.64 cents uh, of that so far, and even more than that today with another um, couple cents on top of that. And by the way, if you ever wanted to know uh, – never mind, I won't get into that right now. Anyway, so that's bullish. That's been leading the upside – and the heating oil in here, I said on 5.5, we left a minor bullish reversal below. Warned about, we saw 16.29 cents of that so far, but that is on hold. And then I said the break below 238.91 plus 11 ticks per hour currently has us under pressure. If we break back above, um, Back above there, that'll warrant for decent strength. Actually, this is a lower line here. The, if we break back above 237.90 plus 7 ticks per hour, that was written this morning. That's going to come in at 
238.45 as of 3.30 p.m. And what I was explaining earlier on the show is that a lot of people, you know, they just focus on crude, focus on crude, focus on crude. What's what's going on with crude? If you back up and you look at that at that difference here of the crude making that eight dollars, eight dollars and fifty eight cents, whereas the RBOB has made you know over almost thirty four cents. Let me just show you the financial difference in that again. This is the RBOB. This is what's called the RBOB crack. This is a spread between the RBOB and the heat and the crude oil. It's called a crack spread because when the crude oil comes into the refineries, it goes through a uh, machine called a cracker that breaks out of it the heating oil or the RBOB spread. Uh, that's why it's called a crack spread. This has nothing to do with any funny business from the 80s. So anyway, <laughs> but anyway. We've been long years since uh, 20, 2757, if you can see that on the chart down below. And you can see the financial difference in there is, you know, $8,200 per contract over a period of two and a half weeks. So that's a pretty serious additional amount to be making with all with your risk being relatively the same uh, to start out. And also... This is the one that lead, led the charge on the upside when it break back, broke back above here. Oh, let me point out one other thing. We had also talked a couple weeks ago um, of these continuation charts. And if you recall, some of you that were watching, I had said that we had broken below a major uh, bearish formation here. And I said we were looking for 30 cents or sort of the downside. We got that 30 cents down, and now we've rallied all the way back up. If we take this line out decently on the upside, which is going to come in at 269.19 tomorrow, that's going to warrant a run back up to 289.43 plus. And that will really change the picture of the markets and can really ignite this thing uh, to run higher again. And the heating oil, similarly, I had mentioned the break below these two major lines right here would, would likely bring in solid pressure. We saw a good a good portion of that to the tune of almost 17 grand per lot before uh, short covering a little bit. And that's still bearish. If this happened to get back up through these lines, then the whole picture of the energy complex would really change uh, at that point. Are you, do you want me to go back over that front month R Bob spread thing, or, or no, Larry? Yes, I do because come? I had two yes. two people ask to do that. So I'd, uh, if you could do that, that'd be be great. Okay. Uh, so one of the other things I wanted to just point out. I mean, look, if you if you're looking at crude oil anyway to trade, knowing what's going on in the complex can just vastly increase your profitability. And I'm not talking about increasing your profitability by like twenty percent. I mean, you know by magnitudes by multiples yeah. hey we got we got to pay a few bills here when we get back i want to ask you a question about that because that's what you do for a living and i think the folks ought to know how to get in touch with you if they're interested in using that kind of leverage we'll be right back with mike moore of more analytics folks 877-927-6648 more skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument you have to practice sure but you also need excellent instruction from experts at TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. 
Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at tfnn.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. To Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, we're back with Mike Moore, more analytics. Mike, I have a question. Uh, yep. Several people. How do the, the folks that want you to trade for them, how do they go? Right. Should they just call you and then you discuss the process of how it works? Because I know you manage money professionally. And with that kind of leverage, I've had three people ask you uh, to give me information about how they can contact you about that type of program. Because when you can get six times the leverage or something, that, that, uh, that brings a lot of interest into it. So how can they reach you? Sure, they could uh, reach me at my phone number here, or they could go on to more um, moreanalytics.com and fill out a form there, and then I would put them in touch with uh, Bill Orlowski from BTR Futures. Uh, mm -hmm. Actually, he would be the one to really vet out and talk to people before I would talk to them, um, so he'd be the best one to contact. Mm -hmm. I should actually have his number underneath here, but you can if you fill out the form on moreanalytics.com, I'll send that form directly over to Bill, and then he'll give you a call and let you know about each one of the programs. There's basically three programs running right now. Okay, um, let's continue, please. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do a quick breakdown for you guys of an example of a, an important opportunity in the energies outside of just looking at crude directly. Okay. Sounds this good. is called the RBOB front month spread or the unleaded gasoline front month spread. So if you're buying this spread, that means you would be buying the June contract and selling the July contract against it. And what you're doing is you're making money off the differential in that spread as the as the underlying market moves. So if you see here, for example, in the RBOB, the average volatility on May 5th was 708 ticks. But the average volatility in the spread was only 59 ticks. The average volatility in the crude at the same time is 218 ticks. Now, the ticks in the spread in the RBOB are not the same value as the ticks in the crude. And the way that you would figure that out simply is you would take whatever these are, right, 708. You go 708 times 0 0.42, and that would give you the equivalent amount to the crude. So the crude, its average volatility was 218 which would be $2,180 a contract. That's the average range on a day, okay? Whereas the RBOB would be $2,970 a contract, average range on the day. Mm -hmm. However, spread right here at 
If I did that times 0.42, that average volatility is only 25 ticks a day. So that means $250 average range on the day per lot. So for this same amount, $250, as opposed to the crude at 218, you could be trading nine of these contracts for the same risk of one contract and crude. And there are certain times yeah. of the year when this spread moves hard. And when it's very low volatility, you can have more contracts on because the risk is less. But when you have a big parabolic move like this in here, you know, and it moves up this much in a matter of 10 days, that's 36.75 per contract times nine. You know, that's 33 grand in a matter of just a couple days. Okay. Wow. And when it really starts to move, you could peel off part of your, if you wanted to, you could peel off part of your position and pay for the rest of it and then just trail the rest. And the reason why I point these out is this is not a spread that you need to be glued to every day trying to understand what it's doing every day. There's certain times during the year when this has these parabolic moves. And I, I set up this chart in between commercials uh, for you guys. But like you can see here on October 23rd of 2012, October 22nd, 2013, October 10th, 2014, October 19th right here. You can see these big moves like this, big moves. Yes. Big moves, wow. a big move. So it, there's certain times of the year, and I just picked this one one because it's right around October. You don't have to get it dead on the, the right day. But what you, what you do want to do is when do these big moves generally happen? And if you're that's, – that's that's the time where it's like, hey, I need to be paying attention to this spread around this time and see if Mike gives me any indication that I should be long. Because if, if this goes parabolic to the upside, I want to be on this thing. And that can take your whole account to a whole different stratosphere in just a number of days. Does that make sense? Yes. And these moves, too, are not hard to ride. They're not like a regular move that has these big swings up and down and you're trying to figure out where your stop goes. I mean, it's just like psh, shoot straight up. This one, just shooting straight up. And, you, and there's different reasons for these. It could be, hey, it's a Friday afternoon and the hurricane's – right off the coast of Florida, and it's supposed to go up the east side. And then, you know, you're out with the kids on the boat, and all of a sudden it blows across Florida, and, and it hits a bunch of uh, refineries down there. So it could be as simple as that. But you can see clearly that these spreads have these big, exasperated moves. And then after they have the big moves up, they also have these tremendous moves down that you can also catch on the other side. So it's some very distinct um, – opportunities that you can get on at the inception with the very low risk with the high volume and once they go you can just really slam a home run so that's just an an, an an example of what you can do with the spreads and these additional opportunities in the energies uh that you should be paying attention to that's great anybody have questions on that that looks pretty good to me as a matter okay. of fact, I do have something here that will be interesting to everyone, if I can just find it. And that is Bill's phone number. I always have it. It's on my speed dial, but since I'm uh, not on the phone, I'll have to be able to uh, do it another way. But I'll get this darn thing out here eventually. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll tell you what it is. Hold on. I'll put it, I'll put it on it's, here right now. Hold it's 847, and the S is 1047 on the end. But I got it messed up. Mm -hmm. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. I believe. Nope. 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 <clears throat> That's what happens when you get lazy and put it into your speed dialer. You don't have the darn thing up here. Son of a gun. I thought thought for sure that I did. Oh well. Eight four seven three zero nine sixteen thirty. All right, here's an alternative number there, 24. Yeah, so okay, yes. Yeah, 234, 1989. Now, that's probably the one best to use because this is his private cell. He's probably going to scream at me for giving it out, but that's okay. Yeah, I was going to put that up there. But I was like, well, maybe, <laughs> so, that's okay. uh, Larry got you first, uh, Bill. But anyway. Yeah, uh, he, can, he can blame hey, it on me. All like, else honestly, though, we're all like family here, though, honestly. I mean, I've had traders with me that have been with me 15, 25 years. 
Mm-hmm. So, you know, one of the joys I have in doing this analysis, I have two goals in doing this analysis for my clients. Number one, to save time. Mm-hmm. And number two, to drive additional revenue streams. So you might say, well, Mike, why isn't number two number one? Because in my opinion, time is the greatest commodity in life. And if I'm spending five and a half hours analyzing the markets, that's five and a half hours that you don't have to be spending analyzing the markets. If I'm getting up at 3.30 in the morning to do this stuff, that's not the time you need to get up. Yeah. And Amen to that. You know, some, some of my clients are great analysts in and of themselves, but they like my analysis because it helps confirm what they're doing, add to what they're doing, or if it's in opposition to what they're doing, cut down their size or not put on any size at all against it if my percentages are a high percentage of winning, uh, winning trades. Well, listen, thanks for joining us. We're going to have you on really soon next week for sure. So be safe out there, and we'll see you again next week, okay? Thank you very much, Larry. It's been a pleasure. You Thank bet. you, everybody, for you watching. Bet. Mike Moore, more analytics folks, and we'll see you on the flip side. When the market's uh, tomorrow, presented, one using more a seg- combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. Okay, folks, uh, wrapping it up here, I posted that chart one more time of the weekly NASDAQ, and as you can see, we've reached uh, target levels. So last night, we got as high as 13,978. We were looking for 13,960. We're down about 178 handles so far today with uh, uh, even a m minimum of 10 of a 382 has not uh, transpired yet. We did it in the Dow Jones, but none of the other indices. So there's some weakness coming across the board here. Whether it continues over the next day or two, 
remains to me to be seen and as we said earlier the key levels to watch on the euro and the u.s dollar index are just a heartbeat away so any explosion through that level or acting like a you know a blockchain of some kind in other words prevent the, the prices from going higher that'll be the reason so we really need to watch the euro at the 107 and the dollar index at uh, 53 so once, excuse me, 63. Anyway, let's keep in mind those numbers are very important. The, the Treasury bonds have broken down. They're very, very oversold down here at 126, but they broke major support there at 126.30, and that told us that these things were probably going to see higher interest rates. And you know, folks, even Jamie Dimon was on the show uh, uh, on CNBC today saying we could easily see 7 and maybe even 8% Treasury bonds. And boy, if we see that, folks, those Treasury bonds are going to be trading down about 95 in order to make that distance up. So you've got to, got to be really careful because these have gone from 190 all the way down to 118. Stop and think of that for a Treasury bond. That's when they were trying to tell us that there's a thing called negative interest rates. It never did fall for that one, folks. Nope, that was a no-brainer in my opinion. Anyway, we're going to see you folks on Thursday, so live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. Mm -hmm.